안녕하세요. My name is Justin Armour, and I'm here to formally introduce myself to all of you in South Korea. I've had the fantastic pleasure of growing up in Canada, born and raised my entire life, even though sometimes here it gets as cold as minus 30 degrees in the wintertime. Now, that's not as cold as the rest of the country, as it can get as cold as minus 40 or even minus 50. I mean, even the geese here fly south. <laughs> Maybe they're onto something. Despite that, I've been very fortunate and very grateful to have the opportunity to grow up in one of the most multicultural cities in the world. I've been exposed to cultures from every corner of the planet, and this has made me a man who has been able to appreciate and understand cultures that most people would never have the opportunity to ever be exposed to. Now this, actually right here in Vaughan, is where my love for Korea first started. You see, I grew up in a very multicultural school, and I had many Korean friends growing up. Being invited into their homes and being able to experience not just their culture and their respect, but also their delicious food, I believe is what started my love for your beautiful country. It was an incredible experience to be able to learn from and hear the stories of the elders and the family while sharing this delicious bulgogi <laughs> with other people at the table. And I mean, let's be honest, anybody who doesn't love bulgogi is just a little bit crazy, in my opinion. As for my educational background, I spent four years at York University to get my Bachelor's of Fine Arts, where I specialized in While I finished my degree, I then went on to get my TEFL certification from the University of Toronto. Once I got my TEFL certification, I then felt like I was completely prepared to combine my educational background with my passion of teaching and knowledge to create what I hope to be a very special opportunity with yourself in Korea. Now, in order to demonstrate my teaching style, I'm going to go over a very simple adjectives class that I've created. This will be targeted towards very young learners, and it will cover some previous knowledge, very basic knowledge of adjectives, and then expand on a little bit further with maybe a little bit of musical flair. Hello class, and how's everybody doing today? Are we good or are we very good? Are we very good? Excellent, that's exactly what I want to hear. I want to see smiles on everyone's face. All right, perfect. Okay, now if anybody is not smiling, I want you to go over to them, give them a big round of applause. Can we all clap for everybody, cheer for everyone. Stop! Perfect. Thank you for your attention, everybody. Now, can we have eyes on me, please? All focus here. Thank you very much. All right. Now, today, we're going to be talking about something that we covered last week. Okay, we're going to be just going over some very basic things about adjectives. Okay? Now, do we remember what an adjective is? Yes. An adjective is a word that we use to describe something. Okay, now we don't just describe something, we describe what we see, what we taste, what we smell, what we hear, and what we feel. Okay, these are all very important things to describe when we're talking about adjectives. Today, I'm going to be describing a symbol to you. Okay, and I'm going to go over these five basic questions that we just talked about. And we're going to make sure that you can describe this using adjectives. How does it look? Okay, it looks round. Can everybody say that with me? Round. The symbol is round. All right, and it also looks very shiny. Very shiny. See how the light reflects? It is a very shiny symbol. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've covered how it looks with our eyes, Right? Now let's go to how it smells, okay? Now, I can tell you from what I just smelt, it doesn't smell like anything. So there is no smell. All right, now as to taste, okay? This is metal. And to be honest, I don't really want to lick this. So I'm going to say that it doesn't taste very good, okay? So this tastes bad. The symbol tastes bad. Now how about... How does it sound? It's an instrument, correct? Perfect. Okay. Now, let's see how this sounds. Wow. Okay, so the cymbal sounds very loud. 
Okay, so the symbol sounds loud. Okay, class? Now, finally, we're going to go on to the last one. Touch, that's right. We're going to see how it feels. I can't really bend it. It is very strong. It is a strong symbol. Can you say that, class? The symbol is strong. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, class. Now that we've gone over the five questions we need to answer to describe things, what I want you to do is to take this worksheet here and look at the objects on the page. In your notebooks, please write down and answer those five questions about the objects on the page, okay? So, how it looks, how it sounds, how it smells, how it tastes, and how it feels. You have five minutes, I'm going to come around and answer any questions that anybody may have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the adjectives that you use to describe the objects on the work page, okay? Now, when I write the words down, we're all gonna say them out loud together. This will get a vast variety of adjectives out that the students have written down. And once the task is over, we are then able to create a large word bank on the board of adjectives for the students to use to describe things in the future. I'm gonna make sure that any questions they have, I can answer. And if they're confused about anything, I can clear up any problems. So that concludes my lesson. At the end of the day, this simple exercise will be able to show me whether or not students are able to associate the correct adjective with the correct noun. For example, a rock does not taste sweet, but rather a rock is hard. This was a um, very short demonstration of my abilities here. Thank you very much for considering me as a candidate for a position teaching English in Korea, and I hope to see you soon. And Yonggi Kaseyo.